This is the Snowplow Show, brought to you by Phone Losers of America and by Sensei Doug, sharing decades of experience with the PLA community, teaching stances, forms, punches, blocks, and kicks to all you sissies. Hello there, everybody. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and today is February 28th, 2023. This show is brought to you by Cody No Name, ZTK, Holden MJ, Shrink Man, and Fun Society Arcade. They support the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers. You can do that, too. You get an extra show every week. By the way, Fun Society Arcade, thanks for the box of Christmas stuff. I went to my old P.O. box the other day and I realized I hadn't been there in like two and a half months. So it was just stuffed with mostly junk mail, but some things that people sent me for Christmas, like this bottle of Captain Morgan from Fun Society Arcade. He also sent me some socks, like he does every year, and some chocolates. Thanks. I also got a card from Mr. and Mrs. Synthhead, and I got an air quality detector from Juan. Juan V. That was on my wish list on Amazon and he got that for me, I don't know, a few weeks ago. His message on this says, clap on, clap off. LOL from Juan. So I don't know if he understands what it is. It looks like a weird old device. And Vista Blue, he sent me a snow in Southtown zine and some stickers and I think some other things. But I think that's because I support him on Patreon. That's not really Christmas stuff. Never mind. Forget all about Vista Blue. But thank you, Vista Blue, for sending me stickers and zines. I have a prank request here from someone named Famardi. He says, this guy was our former neighbor. He's been tormenting us for almost eight years when I was a kid. He kept harassing us because our dog kept barking and threatened to have the dog pound, take it away. I happened to find out that he still lives at the same house since I moved away from that neighborhood almost 20 years ago. And you're still holding a grudge against this guy. Good job. I'm proud of you. I would too. It's about time you get some revenge on this guy. I've included his address in case you want to say you're with the HOA or make up a story about something like a new dogs in the neighborhood or something where he's racist against Hispanics. Okay, let's do that. Let's accuse them of being too racist against Hispanics. Oh, and he says, thank you for your prank on Howard, by the way. I don't remember what I did to Howard, but he says it was hilarious. Hi, Jerry. This is he. What's up? Oh hey there! Uh, this is this is Stephen from the Streets and Roads Department here. Um, they're gonna the what? I, I'm with the Public Works Department. We're gonna be at your house tomorrow to uh, dig a hole in the front yard. You're gonna dig a hole in my house? Yeah, just in the front yard. What do you mean and, you're gonna dig a hole? Well, they're gonna be there about eight or nine in the morning. You didn't respond to the the letter that we sent to you, so I'm just calling oh, you to what? make sure you, you you're aware that we're coming. What the hell? Are you gonna dig a hole? Uh, it's gonna be like an eight foot hole, eight foot by eight foot. In my yard? Yes. What the hell for? About eight foot deep. And uh, no, I said, wh- why? Oh, it's it's just uh, for training purposes. 
You ain't gonna dig no hole in my yard for training. Yes, we are. It's been decided. We <laughs> sent you a letter. And, uh, well, no, it, it ain't decided. You're it, gonna have to fight me. You come to dig a hole in my sir, yard. Sir, it's just gonna be this week. You know, like it's it's uh, Tuesday. Uh, we'll probably be finished by Saturday. You ain't like, gonna dig no goddamn hole in my yard. It's gonna look exactly as it did before. You know, oh, you're gonna put new artificial. You're gonna put new artificial grass down. But we're not putting artificial grass down, sir. We don't want to get cancer. Well, that's what I have in there. Okay, well, we'll we'll put down the dirt. You know, we'll put the dirt back where it was, and we'll just lay the artificial grass on top of it. Is that no, how- no. You are not coming and digging a hole in my yard. I'm sorry. Is you're, that how artificial grass works? Or is, or is it like hooked, hooked together underneath? Well, is and it- why is your number from Kansas? To- uh, uh, I'm calling from my cell phone, sir. Okay, well, I don't care what you say. You're not coming to dig a goddamn hole in my yard. Right, I'm not coming. I'm just an office worker, but the uh, street and roads department people are going to be there tomorrow. About Nobody's going to dig a hole. Eight or nine in the morning, and they're going to be... You do not have permission. We don't need your permission, sir. It's it's like right there on the edge of your lawn. It's kind of an easement area when you think about it. You got the damn sidewalk to dig in, but not my yard. Oh, no, we're not digging up the sidewalk. And when you're not digging my yard up. Yes, we're digging your yard up. It's just an eight foot. I'm telling you, you're not going to come and dig it's my an yard eight, up. It's an eight foot hole, sir. You're not doing anything with your yard. It's just a yard. Well, you're digging a hole in my yard. Right. We're going to dig a big hole in your yard. Eight foot deep. <laughs> what is this bullshit call? You're a bullshit call. Well, you come on out and talk to me that way. I'll okay. show you some bullshit. Okay. Well, it's just going to be right there by the sidewalk. Okay. Well, like the, no, the next, it's not okay. Next, it is not okay. Next to the sidewalk. coming. Next to the public sidewalk, and then right alongside of your sidewalk, up to the door. Nope. So You're make, not digging. Make sure you have your yard picked up. Don't have a bunch of bullshit sitting out there, <laughs> or kids' toys, or anything like that. Now, who do you work for? The city. The city of what? The city of. And why did you pick my yard to dig a hole in? Uh, well, don't feel singled out because there's like three other people who are doing this too, as well. <laughs> Stupidest thing I ever heard. Okay, well, you know what? You don't work for the city, so we know what's best. And, and you don't own this property, so you're not digging. Well, you don't really own the property either. You pay your taxes to us. It's not the other way around. So it's more I like don't... you seem more like a renter than me, to be honest. A renter? Well, you know, you're renting from the city. You. I have to pay your taxes. I'm or, or, here from the city. I bought this property. Yeah, but if you stop paying your taxes, we'll kick you out. <laughs> well, you seem like a true asshole. I wish you'd come with the people that are going to say they're going to dig because they're not. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just being honest. You know, if, if you stop paying your hey, taxes, I'm being honest too. You're, you're, you're going to lose, digging, you're gonna lose that house. You stop paying your taxes. Digging. Go oh, ahead and try it. <laughs> I'm looking at his house here, and yeah, it doesn't look like all of his neighbors. Oh, wait, he's calling me back. City of this is. Brad. Brad, what yeah. department do you work in? Uh, the Streets and what, Roads what? and Trees Department. Streets, Roads, and Trees. What's your last name? Carter. Brad Carter, he says. All right. That's right. Thank buddy. you. Bye. Hey, Bye. listen here, pal. Okay, I gave him my, my real name. No, I was going to say, like, I'm looking around his neighborhood, and he's the only one that has fake grass, like some kind of a freak, because it's just perfectly green. And his neighbors look like real ones. But anyway, that was for you, Fumarty. There you go. I harassed your old neighbor that used to harass you when you were a kid. You're welcome for that. Wait, so was that his home number? Because it looks like maybe you gave me two phone numbers here. And damn it, I didn't mean to call him from an out-of-state phone number like I did. Okay, that was his T-Mobile number that I called. But there's another number down here, which is uh, Time Warner Cable. And it says it is a landline. Okay, so I'm going to call him back with a better phone number. One that's actually in his state. And I'm going to turn on the Carol voice. And let's hope this number actually works. Can't come to the phone right now. Leave me a message. Hello, Jerry? Jerry, are you there? Hello? Jerry, it's Carol. Your neighbor? Hello? Jerry? Jerry, pick up the phone. Pick up, 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 pick up. Jerry! 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 
Pick up the phone! It's Carol! Hello! Are you home? Maybe he's not home. Jerry! 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 You pick up that phone, Jerry! Jerry, you pick up that phone right now! Jerry! Jerry! You get over to that phone and pick it up! <sighs> Alright, Jerry, you win this round. I'm hanging up. I guess maybe he actually was not at home. You know, I did call him on his cell phone the first time, but I think I ruined any chance of a call back to Jerry on his Time Warner number. Well, I mean, not really, but darn it. I wish he would have picked up. So there you go, Fumarty. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I didn't say anything racist against Hispanics, but you know, it just didn't come up. What can you do? Here's another request from someone named Roy Gerbil. This person posted on my local buy and sell page, and it's somebody trying to sell their phone number, which is owned by Rogers Wireless, because it's a unique phone number. The last four digits is 2222. Actually, the last five digits are all twos, so he's trying to make some money. Oh, there's a picture of the ad. Uh, he's trying to sell it for $1,500, and he says, if you're interested, give me a call and let me know what your bid is. And of course, the person who submitted this wants me to do a number change on them, which sounds hilarious because they're counting on this phone number to make them a lot of money. Let's see, this was sent to me three days ago. The lady trying to sell her phone number, her name's Jessica. I want to see the comments on this thing because you can't sell your phone number. That's not your phone number. That belongs to the phone company. Hello? Hey there. Uh, this Hello? Is... Hi, can you hear me? Huh? Yeah. Uh, hi, this is Jerry from Rogers Wireless. I was calling to let you know we're changing your phone number today. This 2222 oh, number. Sec. Just a sec. Okay. You want the person that owns the phone. Oh, okay. It's Rogers. They're changing your phone number today. That's not smart. What? Well, they just said that they were, so you better come and talk to them. To come and talk to them. Get on the phone. Hello? Hello. Uh, th this Why is... are you changing my number? You can't change my number. Oh, yeah, we're just changing it to a new phone number. It's going to have the same area code. No, 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 Why, why, why? Well, it's just, it's expired, and then somebody outbid you on it. So we're, we've, we've, we're going to send this number to somebody outbid else. Outbid me? And, outbid me. Yes. So if you have a pen or a pencil, I can... My number is not expired. I just got it a few months ago. And who, who made a bid on my number? Okay, well, we're not allowed to provide that information, ma'am, but I just... I'm just calling. I'm number. calling. I you, never. I was never willing to give it up. Okay. Well, it's not your phone number. You know, like it's uh, the number belongs to Rogers. It's my phone number. Well, no, it belongs to, to Rogers. Ma'am, can you tell that man in the background to be quiet? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And here you do it. But okay, well, no, I so, want somebody to explain this to me. Okay. Uh, do you have a pen or a pencil? I'm just going to give you your new phone number here, so I can go ahead and complete the order in the computer system. What the hell? She hung up on me. Let me try right back. They are so upset about this. Your call has been forwarded to a voicemail service that has not been initialized by the customer you are calling. Shoot. I wonder if I can initialize it. Let me try one more time. They're not picking up. Your call has been forwarded to a voicemail service that has not been initialized by the customer you are calling. The Rogers wireless customer you are calling is not available at this time. When you reach the customer at a later date, Please remind the customer to access their voicemail and initialize their mailbox. Oh, I'll remind them. Can't, can't I do it? Like, star. Pound. Okay, let me try again. Your call has been forwarded to a voicemail service that is not... They're just hanging up on me now. So, okay, I'm done with that one. That was fun for a little while. I mean, she was so panicked. Probably because she paid 1500 for a phone number. How can you do that? How can you transfer your phone number to somebody else? That doesn't seem like a thing the phone company would help you do. But anyway, I guess I ruined that call by yelling at the man. He was very sensitive about it and he reached over and he hung up the phone, is my guess. But I don't know what happened and now they won't pick up. And I really would love to change their phone number for real just because they paid $1,500 for it, possibly. Oh shit, I just noticed Famarty's other um, request. Apparently I did something with a spy balloon hacking on him and he just said to fuck off. And I wrote down in here to wait a few days and do a number change on him as Carol. Or I could probably just use my normal voice because he's not going to remember me at this point. 
But yeah, let's give this a try and see if he outsmarts me once again. And if he does, I probably won't use this call. Because I don't want to be outsmarted again by fucking Howard. Hello. Hey, hello. Uh, this is Carol with at and I was calling to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. This, uh, no, six, you're not. The 68440 number? No, you're not changing my number. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's not really a choice of yours. We have to. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Well, no, it's it's happening right now. I'm in the number. Fuck. God damn it, Famardi. Why are you giving me a phone number of a guy that just doesn't believe prank calls? I am finished with Howard. Don't send me Howard's number again. He sucks. Even though he did tell me to fuck off last time. That was slightly funnier, at least, though. Hey, Dr. Charles. Hey there. Uh, this is Jerry from Team Mobile. I was calling to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. This 2868 number. And uh, I, we just need to give you your new phone number. So do you have a pen? Why? Oh, uh, so you, you'll have the phone number to, to give to people so they'll know your phone number? No, no, no. Don't don't change my number. Don't change my number. Oh, no. I'm sorry. We have to change your number, sir. It's, no, uh, why? Well, it, it expired. And uh, to be honest, I was just in your account. I was I was in your account monkeying around, and I changed it by mistake. So, 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 yeah, don't change my number. Well, I, I can't help it. I already changed it, and I don't know how to change it back. I'm so sorry, but I have your no, new, don't. I I have your new phone number here. Why? But why did you change my number? I I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I'm a new employee. I was in your account. I was monkeying around, and I changed your phone number. I also changed. Okay, change. I changed your zip code what? too. Hey, what what happened there? Why did he? Let me try him right back. I didn't mean I actually changed the zip code. I just meant in, on his account, you know? Hello, Charles? I'll take you. I'll, if you call my phone, I'll, I'll take you to court. Don't change my number. Oh, do yeah. not. You you are not allowed to take me to court, sir. Okay. This is not T-Mobile. Okay. okay. Oh, Please. yes, I am. Listen here, buddy. I have your new phone number. No, this is not T-Mobile. You get okay. a pen or a pencil right now. Okay, he figured it out somehow. Probably looked at my caller ID before and saw that I was not calling from T-Mobile. I was just calling from a random number. So that was a request from Bobson Dugnut. And it looks like I've tried him before and he wouldn't answer, but yay, he answered this time. Oh yeah, and he says, this is a psychiatric nurse practitioner in the D.C. area. He uses this number for new patients. So it would be funny if he changed it. And oh my God, you know, like if he's got patients that are... You know, they need psychiatric care, and he's suddenly hearing, oh, no, they're not going to be able to get a hold of me. This is the worst thing ever. That's, uh, I mean, kind of horrible. When you think about it, we panicked this poor psychiatrist, but it's okay. I was going to hell anyway. No big deal. Oh, look, more frat guys from the sign guy. He wants me to change their numbers. I'm not going to change their numbers. That's all I've done on today's show. And they never even care, the frat boys. Hello. Hi, Parker. Yes, this is Parker. Hey, why don't you hang up that fucking phone, buddy? I'm sorry? Oh, you heard me. You hang up that fucking phone, Parker. What the, is this Colin? No, but hey, don't worry about who it is. Just hang up the goddamn phone. What? I order you to hang up the telephone. Okay. So do it, motherfucker. I'm kind of interested now. Parker. You hang up that fucking phone. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, man, whatever. Oh, you better hang it up. All right, there we go. That was very amusing to Parker, but at least it was amusing to somebody, right? So the third one on his list is not answering, so I give up on this one officially. I'm deleting it. Thank you, the sign guy, for more frat brothers. Next, I'm calling another sign guy number. He sends a lot of numbers in, you guys. It's not my fault that it's him again. I mean, it kind of is. Anyway, he sent me a picture of a uh, a van, I guess, or an SUV, a town and country, and they've got their business name listed on their back window. It's a trucking company. So why is it on a town and country car? This is like an old lady car, and there's a phone number on it, and the sign guy doesn't give me any ideas. He just says it was uh, spotted at Topgolf. Whatever the hell that is. Uh, hello. 
Hey, uh, this is Carol. Hello? Hello. I don't have a Carol here. What are you talking about? I'm saying my name's Carol. Okay. I'm sorry I dinged your car. What? I'm sorry that I dinged your car. Uh, it's not my car. My car is in the driveway. Well, no, you have that town and country, right? Yes. Yeah, I dinged your car. I'm so sorry. When did you do that? Uh, it was recently. It was just, you know, was it the, oh, where was it, um, Top Golf? You were at Top Golf. Where? Where? Top Golf. I don't know where that's at. Okay, well, I don't know. It was uh, in a shopping center. Um, I I put your door up, you know, the back door, the hatchback. I raised it. I raised it all the way up, and then I sat on it to see if it would support my weight. Okay, on your car? No, on your car. I raised up the, you know, the back, the hatchback, and then I laid. I, you know, I got up on the roof and I laid down on it. And it did not support my weight. And I don't weigh that much. So I think you had bad, bad hydraulics in in the um, the hatchback. How would you get my number? It was written on the back of the window. I, l I left you my number on the windshield. And you never called me. Well, I didn't see any note on the on my windshield. Did you notice that your uh, your hatchback goes up slower now? Let me look, because I just, I've had it in the shop this last week. Oh, no, about the about the hatchback hydraulics? No, I don't have any dent on my car. Oh, no, it's not a dent. I got on your roof. I got on the roof of your town and country, and I had put up the hatchback, you know, the back part. Yeah. I put it up, and then I tried to lay down on it, because I was trying to take a sexy photo. And it did not support my weight. Oh, hang on just a second. Let me look. Is that your dog barking? No, it's the neighbor dog. Oh, he sounds so cute. Yeah, he's just a little New Yorker. Aww. Oh. Let me see if I can see my car from up here. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like it's dented. Yeah, well, not dented. It's just, you know, you understand, like, I put the, I, I, I opened up your car, and I put the back tailgate thing up, you know, the whole door. Yeah. I, I, I opened the door, and I laid down on it What while it was at roof height. Really? Yes. And I will not do that again because I guess those doors aren't designed to hold a, a person. No. Yeah, no, I, fe really. I fell off, but luckily I was drunk. Oh, goodness. So I didn't get hurt. Okay. Did you just do that just recently? Yeah, yeah, a few days ago. You're you're some shopping center. Uh, in Lawrence? Yes. Oh. Okay. It must have been just right when I got the car out of the shop. Oh. Huh. Okay. Because it's been, it's been in the shop for over a week. So the back door still opens okay? It's not, like, super slow? I thought I, I, thought I blew out the hydraulics with my fatness. <laughs> well, let me see here. Does it make a noise like when you're trying to put the door up? Uh, not my driver's side. Hmm. No, not the not the back door. You know the back door. My the, hatch. Yeah, the hatch. The hatch. I was laying on your hatch while it was open. 
I'm surprised you didn't break out my glass then. Yeah, well, I'm not that fat, ma'am. And I, I was okay. laying partially on the glass and partially on the bottom, you know, metal part. Hmm. No, it seems to be opening. Yeah, and then, and then it just it suddenly just collapsed. And um, oh, wow. I thought, you know, that I heard, can you, can you open up the hydraulics and blow into them? Blow about 80, 80 PSIs? Well, they're going up and down. With, with your mouth? No, I'm not going to blow into them. Just the hydraulics. It doesn't taste. It doesn't taste that bad. No, I'm just older, and it's not not that easy. Oh, I'm sorry. I dinged your car. I I won't get into your car anymore when I see it out in public, like I did. Well, that's interesting because it's always locked. Yeah, but I have one of those gadgets. You know how you unlock it with the gadget, with your key fob? No, I didn't know you could even do that. Yeah, I can I can open up any car with a gadget, with my gadget. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's opening and closing. Let me get your name and number down here, and I'll have my my son look at it. Where's he at? Who else is home? Huh? Where's your son at and who else is home? And I don't know. Is there anyone that'll yell at me? No. It's just my cat that's here. Oh, what's his name? Georgie. Oh, hey, Georgie. About he'll be three years old in, in um, October. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, hey, what happened there? Okay, oh. what's your name now? Uh, it's Carol. Carol Gersperms. Can you spell the last name? Oh, sure. It's G as in net, E as in I, R as in R U. <laughs> Listening, S as in C, B as in B, B, Q, mm-hmm. E as in I, uh, R as in R, Wanda, M as in mnemonic, and okay. S as in dyslexic. Okay, and what's your phone number? And um, my phone number, that would be on your caller ID. Uh, no. Uh huh. Oh, it would definitely be on there because uh, I didn't block it. Well, I didn't. I didn't look at it when it first came up. I just answered the phone. Yeah, just scroll back. It'll be right there. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, hello. No, nope, but it's not coming up. What is your phone number? Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, 816-425-5555. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sl- slash colon 41. There is no slash colon 41. It's a new phone number. It's the forward slash. Not on a phone number. No, you just have to dial in italics. You have to hit the shift button, and it'll give you those extra dialing digits. I I I have one of those new modern phone numbers. Forward slash colon two one. Because it's easier to remember. Is this a prank phone call? Yes, I've never been near your car, ma'am. I was gonna say, why would you call me for something so stupid? Ma'am, I live in Oregon. So why would you call me and do this? To make a prank call. I just wanted to make a prank call, and it seemed like a good idea at the time. Like, what what, what tipped you off that it was a prank call because of the whole slash colon 2-1 thing? No. It's your last name. <laughs> Curse firms? How is that not believable? It, I've never heard that, and I've been around for a whole, you know, Around for yeah, but I can I can be Slavic. I can but be... I've never I have never heard that name before. What if I was Slavic though? 
how how would you have gotten my phone number and how would you have known that it was on my back of my car? Um, I, uh, I looked on the internet. And, um, my, name, my name's not on the internet. Well, um, I looked on some dash cam footage on YouTube and I saw you just driving down the road and you had your phone number on your back window. And, uh, I paused the YouTube video and I wrote down your number. And and then I made a prank call. What? In your life, than to make prank phone calls. I'm a what? I said I would think that you would have better things in your life to do than make prank calls. No, unfortunately, uh, this is just kind of what I do. I just make prank calls. Well, I wouldn't be proud of it. At least your door's not broken, though, right? Well, my door's not broken because it's been in the shop for last week. I know, but at least I didn't open up your back door, your hatch, with a gadget and lay on top of it. Well, that's true, but it would have been very interesting how you could have gotten it when it's been in the garage. Well, you know, they they park it out in the back, usually, and um, I know that there's a fence, but they don't have dogs. So you just have to open up the two gates just, like, Pull them apart enough, and you can squeeze through. And then I, I could use my gadget to open up your back, your hatch, and lay on top of it. I doubt it. Oh, I bet I could. If I was in your state, I totally could. Well, that would be interesting because the police department is less than three blocks away from me, and they patrol my house like I'm their best. And it wasn't at your house, though. It was at the garage. I got you there, didn't I? They have cameras at those garages. Yeah, but uh, I have a hat that has LEDs mounted all over the underside of it, and they just make my 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 face look like um like I'm, you know, just like glowing, like a glowing orb. But security cameras can't see my face. You know what? Because of all the LEDs. I- LED. I don't have time for you. Oh, come on. What are you and Georgie doing? I work for a living. What do you do? I do accounting. Oh, that's fun. Yes. Does your, ki- does your kitty sit on your lap while you do accounting? No, he sits on my desk on my paperwork. Aw. Keeps it all warm for you? Yep. That's so cute. Yeah. That's so cute. I'm crying now. I'm crying because it's so cute. Yeah. Thinks that that's when I'm when I'm done with counting, then he thinks it's time for us to do other things. Oh, like ooh, gross. That's your TMI, man. Mm. TMI? No. I he said- just wants. He just wants to follow me around the house. Oh. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Ugh. Yeah. Give me the willy. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm in the middle of booking my truck, so I need to go. Booking your truck. Have a good day. All right, I love you. What does she mean, booking a truck? Oh yeah, they're like a trucking company. I mean, if that's for real, that's what's written on her window. Weirdly enough, on her old lady car. So maybe she has a whole fleet of trucks she manages. I don't know. Thanks again, the sign guy. Sorry, the number you've requested cannot be dialed. What the hell? What kind of number is that that can't be dialed? Thanks for nothing, person that sent this one in. It's not even a real number. Oh, here's someone requesting to hang up the phone. That's easy enough. It says this is another old coworker of mine. She will be feisty. Her name is Jordan. This is from Sir Vern. Hello? Hi, Jordan. One second. Hello? Jordan, can you hear me? Hello? Jordan, can you hear me? Hello? Who is this? Jordan. Hello? Hi, Jordan. Who is this? Oh, hey, don't you worry about that. You just hang up that damn phone. Who the fuck is this? Hey, don't worry about it, Jordan. You just hang up that phone right now because I don't want to talk to you. Then why you call? I called to let you know I don't want to talk to you. You a bitch. You need to tell those people in the background to quieten down. Right after you hang up that phone. She said you a bitch to me. That was rude. 
Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. And she won't pick back up, so I guess that was a successful game of hang up the phone. Here's another one from Sir Vern. He says, this one is my old boss. Tell him he hasn't been wearing masks. Change his phone number or just do whatever. Oh, and he gives me a guarantee that this guy will be mad. I wish he gave me an address or something. I want to dig a hole in his front yard. Hello? Hi, Don. Hello? Don, hello, can you hear me? Mask is calling. Uh, this is Eddie from Royco's Trucking. From who? Royco's Trucking. We're going to be at your yard today where um, they're, they're going to be leaving a dump truck of rocks like gravel in your yard. It'll just be there for a few days, okay? And what's it regarding? It, it's just an accident. We accidentally gave them your address. So I'm really sorry about that. But, you know, we'll, we'll send oh, some people over a, tomorrow with trucks. Let me, get the, a, let me get a pen and paper for this. Okay. And you're calling from my yard and you have a Chicago area code? Correct, yes. And they're delivering it to my house in Tennessee? Yes. Okay, hold on. It's quite the mix-up. I'm so sorry about this. Yeah, give me one second. I'm just trying to find a piece of paper. Okay. But and what I, was like, the just, company name? Uh, Royco Trucking. But just ignore the rocks, you, okay? Like, don't be taking the rocks. You can't take them for yourself. It's just an accident. We're not giving you rocks, okay? Well, no. What, how do you spell your company name? Uh, Royco. R-O-Y-C-O. You know, the trucking company. And what's your name? Roy. Your name is Roy? Correct, but I'm not the owner, okay? I get that a lot. Okay. What's but, your last name? Uh, Zerbel. So look, it's going to be there tonight in about an hour and a half. It's going to be a dump truck. It's not a full dump truck, but it's going to be pretty full. And then we'll, we'll send what out the... Your... We're going to send out contractors <laughs> tomorrow morning with trucks, and they're going to pick up those rocks. What's your company name? Roy, oh, sorry, Roy company number. Oh, I just look on your caller ID. You're asking a lot of questions, buddy. You're delivering a oh, dump truck of rocks to my yard. Of course I'm asking questions. Okay, well, it's just going to be temporary. Like, it's it's going to be temporary. Okay, let me talk to someone above you, because apparently you don't understand how to do customer service when you guys have a mix up. I'm not doing customer service. I'm just I'm letting you know. I'm going to ask you many questions. I'm letting you know there is a mistake. Okay. I doubt you're going to be using okay, Roy. I'm going to let you know that those rocks might be gone. Okay, how about that? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm recording this call. Uh, and uh, uh, I just got you on okay. recording saying that you're going to steal Good, my rocks. And you got a recording too. What it, give me your owner or your manager. Hey, I, I don't have an owner. I'm a human up. being, sir, not a slave. I don't know what cool. century you're living in. Are you serious? You freaking right weirdo. Well, you just asked for my owner. What's wrong with you? Like your company owner, numbnuts. You said my owner. You didn't say your company's owner. Okay, obviously it's a pretty obvious. You're answer, making it really shit. weird here. Okay, look, just ignore the dump truck, and the I'm not going to ignore shit. The contractors will be there in the morning, and if you try and steal their rocks, they're going to be pissed. Oh, are they? Yeah. Will they really be so mad? Yes, they will. I'm sure they're going to be so mad at the guy that didn't make the error. They don't give a shit who made the error. They just want their rocks so they can do their work. What are they going to do? They're going to pick up the rocks, <laughs> and then they're going to take <laughs> them to exactly. the jobs. Yeah, obviously stuttering, Stanley. Again, let me talk to your manager. Did I stutter? I don't recall stuttering. I just remember you interrupting you me with a uh, stutter. I know, you're, I know you're not a slave owner, but can you go ahead and do what the customer said? No, I can't do that. Yes, you can. No, no, I won't. I refuse. Okay. And you leave those fucking rocks I'll... alone, Don. You tried to say I was stuttering. I don't think I was stuttering. Your old boss is a real asshole, Sir Vern. I do not like him. Oh, and that was weird. That guy had an Illinois phone number, so I called him from an Illinois phone number, but he said he was in Tennessee, and he was confused that I also had an Illinois number. So, oops. That's his fault, though, for using the wrong area code. It's very sketchy. Hello, is David. Hey, David. This is Carol from T-Mobile. I was calling to let you know we're getting ready to change this phone number. This 217. This 2170 number. We're going to change that to a new phone number. Who, who am I talking with? Uh, this is Carol from T-Mobile. I'm in the Customer Service Center in Salem, Oregon. And and what are, we, what are you trying to do? Oh, we're going to be changing your phone number in just a minute. This 2170, 
I'm calling to give you your new phone number. You can't do that. Oh, yeah, we, we own the phone number. We're just changing it to a different phone number. It's a joke? Oh, no, I wouldn't get about this, sir. Um, yeah, but this is... Okay, so you guys can call and, and just change a phone number that I've been branding out there for how many years? Why? Well, your number expired a few years ago, and somebody else wanted it for their own project. So they just requested it, and we gave it to them. I'm assuming this is a joke. Uh, I've already told you it was not a joke. And who who you work with? Once again, I work for T-Mobile. This is Carol. I'm in the call center in Salem, Oregon. Do you have a pen or a pencil? I just need to give you your new phone number, and then we can be done with this. No, it's not to be done with. I've, I've spent five, six years of marketing to this phone number. You're just saying we're going to change it because someone else asked for it? Yeah, because yours expired several years ago. What do you ago. mean by expired? What do you mean by expired? Well, you know, after so many years of having a phone number, it expires, and it's kind of up for uh, grabs from the general public. And, and no one was going to call to tell me this? The, the I'm number calling that I, you right like, now, David. Why are you raising your voice at me, Carol? Well, because you're being kind of a douche canoe, David. You're, is this, a, this is a practical joke, correct? No, it's not. Look, I just, I, I, I'm a mother over at the high school, and you keep putting your signs out in front of the high school. And you know what? Those kids, they can't buy houses. They're high schoolers, you fucking idiot. Stop putting your signs out by the high school, okay? You, you, you think you're threatening me right now? Oh, no, no, not, not threatening you. I just playing a practical joke with the phone number change. Thing. But so you're telling me not to put my, my advertising up, correct? You want no, me not no, no. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying you're really dumb for doing it because those kids, they, they're not buying oh, I'm, houses. I'm, 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 have, have a lovely day, Carol. Even, it, though, even though everyone in the Valley knows who I am, I'm stupid, right? Yeah, yeah look here, kid. stupid. Like, kids don't want to buy houses. I think I was accidentally Carol like three times today, and that was one of them. I did not mean to be Carol. That's why I was thrown off at the very beginning. And that was yet another number from the sign guy. That was a guy that advertises at high schools, even though high school students can't buy houses. And the sign is at a high school, but it's also on a major road that people drive by. So David's not a complete idiot. Oh, and the sign says he's a proud sponsor of the high school. Oops. That's why his sign is up there. Okay. Now I understand. Okay, let's stop doing prank calls and get into the more exciting segment known as the voicemails. Yay! <laughs> it's finally snowing, and it's going to ice over, break out the salt, break Holy out shit, it's Corbin Guy. Up the snow plow show. Yeah, yes, I love this weather. Me too. We had enough snow and ice that it shut down the whole city for, I don't know, three days? Because they don't want to salt the roads? Because that's bad for the earth. Hey, what's up? This is Aaron. Uh, dang, I gave you my real name. Whatever. Uh -huh. I'm the guy who did the... Gluten-free fidget spinner episode. You remember I gave you that one? Anyway, yeah. random. Sometimes I call different businesses on my way to places, and I just call in for work. So today I called CGA Fridays, and I told them, hey, I'm not going to be at work today. And the guy's like, who is this? I said, Zach. And he told me he doesn't have a Zach here. And the whole time he sounded very lethargic. But I played off of that, and I told him, you know what, dude? I was just going to come and call into work, but you don't even sound like you're at work. End of the call. Super anticlimactic. But he called me back from his real phone number and threatened so many authorities and this and that. He threatened what authorities. Mean? Whatever. I just wanted to share. Bye. Okay. That was a great story. I like the anticlimactic part. Hey, Brad. It's me, Andy Anderson. I'm hey, just bored Andy. at work, man. You know, and I was having having some thoughts. Do you think they're ever going to bring back the Four Loco with the caffeine in it? Mm, I don't man, know. Those were, some, those were some good days, you know what I mean? I thought they were anyway, forced. Boss, hope you have a good day. Okay, bye. I thought they weren't allowed to make those anymore because it's giving everyone heart attacks or whatever. So, I don't know. Just mix up all your Pepsi and Four Loco. It'll be just like the good old days. Yo, Brad. It's Roomba. Hey. Coming from Canada, Ottawa, you know. Yeah, uh, I know. I was just calling, you know to see like uh yeah i was watching american dad one of the old episodes and uh they brought up brad's practice shack and i was just wondering you know if they got it from you or if you got it from them still you know? can't believe they stole that from me 
a long time, short time listener, you know, both, both. Yeah. Anyway, okay. cap is cap. Bye. No, I stole that from American Dad. Everybody used to send me that clip and the picture of Brad's Cactus Shack. Hey, Brad, it's Dozer. Hey. It's been a long time. I just wanted to call and say what's up. I can't believe it's been 10 years since I discovered, like, PLA and, like, the Prank Christian Radio Day and all that good stuff. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Just wanted to say crazy. I love you and what you doing? Bye, Brad. See Ooh, you next you know. time. Doing the voicemails. You should bring back Prank Session Radio. Get the band back together, Dozer. Uh, this is Tim from Michigan. Brad, hey. you got to call that guy from the hotel and see if you can get him. However you can do it. Different different voice, like voices, whatever. What whatever. guy? See how many times you can get him and see how many times he catches you. It'd be awesome. Okay. He should be your new go-to every episode. All right. All right. Love you. I know I did a hotel show recently, but I don't remember Tim. I don't remember what happened with Tim. I have such a horrible memory. Hey, you big dummy. Hey. I uh, I just left a voicemail about the Go Cup guy number. I was talking about the, uh, like the robot, whatever, like the number that you can call. It's like a bot for him. Oh. I tried to call that number and it did pick right up. So it made me think it was a robot, but it sounded like it was a guy ready to have a conversation. I was seeing if that's that still like that number is still tied to the robot or whatever which it's number hard. i guess i gave this guy wrong information before or i thought he was looking for the real go cup guy but here let me go to world slash beverly and there's the phone number for edward the go cup guy let's give him a call hello hey edward what are you doing hi how are you oh i'm just fine how are you how may I help you? So what's what's the problem? You think that he might be a real person? That's not a real person. That's Go Cup guy. His number is 602-837-6069. You can call that number and you can talk to Edward all day. Hey, Brad. Hey. just wanted to respond to one of the listeners who left a voicemail on your last show, or you played it on your last show, inquiring if anyone knew what a cantana was. And I must say, I was born in 1991, and I know what a cantana. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have one vote against telling people that I use cantinas to do my hacking, and one vote for it. I'm going to write all this down. All right, one more voicemail. Hey, Brad, it's Patrick. Hey. From Illinois. And what a great 2023 it's been so far. I know. We've had some great snowplow shows and some phenomenal hobo shows. And oh my goodness, the hobo show that just gave us the most sticker-worthy phrase in the history of sticker-worthy phrases. Did I already play this voicemail? Here's your package, Rat King. Kind of thinking. Needs I to become a did. sticker. Holy sweet butter and Jeebus. That was amazing. And it's, uh, Something I'm very much looking forward to putting on my laptop whenever it's been made into a sticker. You should make it into anyway, a Brad, sticker. Anyway, Brad, hope you've enjoyed your 2023. I make am. good choices, Brad. All right, bye. bye. Yeah, you should make that a sticker. But I swear, I played that voicemail already. He's just tricking me somehow into playing it again. He probably called in and left the same message twice. You know, that old trick. Anyway, I'm done with voicemails, and the show's over, and uh, I guess that's it. We're going to leave now. By the way, these calls were made yesterday, not today. I don't know if that matters to anybody, but today is Tuesday. I'm putting this show together, but the actual prank calls were made yesterday. I should have done all my editing last night and put the show together, but I didn't. Instead, I just watched a bunch of YouTube all evening. So thank you to the sponsors, Cody No Name, ZTK, Holden MJ, Shrink Man, and Fun Society Arcade. If you're able to support the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers, you should do that. You'll have access to the hobo sodes, and I think there's over 300 of those right now. Plus, there's a brand new one every week. Thanks for listening, everybody. I will see you all next time. You don't monkey around with phone numbers and get my number sent somewhere else, period.